All right, so I want to explain something called on-page linking because a lot of time when I tell people, you know, you got to get links to your website, they kind of get this confused. There's a difference between off-site links and on-page links. On-page links is basically when you're linking, you know, from your own site to another page of your own site. And those don't count nearly as much as links that are off-site or links from other sites. When you're linking to your own site, you know, like page to page, it can help you. Um, but it's not going to do nearly what an off-page link can do. But I want to show you how to properly do on-page linking if you decide to do it. I'm going to be honest. A lot of my sites, I don't even on-page link at all. Uh, and a lot of SEO experts would look at that and kind of, huh? Like you don't? Like why not? Um, and the reason is, I just, I don't know. Um, I just, I've found you don't need it to rank well. Like I said, you know, focus on the on the basics. But if there's one practice I would start mixing in more, it would probably be that. Uh, and I think I just don't do it out of laziness more. Uh, and I have so many sites that I'm trying to handle. And there is certain sites that I'm going back to and kind of strategically interlinking a little more now. Um, so be aware of that. But I also want to tell the truth. And, you know, I, I don't on-page link for many of my sites, and they all rank very well. So you don't need it to rank. It's one that, again, it's the, it goes back to the core concepts. Let this be your focus, okay? Let these things be your focus right here. On-page linking, things like on-page linking, you know, here's why I say this. I teach these core concepts, right? And I tell people to focus on these, but then I have complete beginners coming to me and be like, well, how do I do this for on-page linking? And I'm like, I'm like, focus on the core concepts, you know, like on-page linking is something maybe it would be the next thing I work in, like I said, but please focus on these things first. Like, you know, I'll, I'll, they'll show me their site and they won't have their URL or their title or their H tags right, and they're worried about on page linking. I'm like, no. Like, go back and get this stuff right first, then worry about on page linking later down the road if you want, okay? So, just want to make that clear. Um, I'm not saying it's not important and it can't help, and it probably is, would be next on my list of things to implement, but make sure you have the core concepts I've already laid out in this course down first before you worry about anything else. Same thing goes for. Everything else, like people will come to me and I'll say, ask all the time about schema, or they ask about getting social signals, or they ask about optimizing their images and what they should name their images. All that stuff, again, just block out, okay? Focus on the core concepts, don't worry about that type of stuff. But I wanna cover on-page linking because it is one of the bigger ones and it is something I should probably focus on more because it does have an effect. And I wanna show you how to do it properly. So if it's something that you wanna do, uh, it's something I, I want to show you how to do it correctly. So the best site on the internet that I can kind of give you as an example that does on-page linking correctly is Wikipedia. And I'm going to show you exactly what they do. So let's go to Wikipedia bodybuilding or something like this, any random Wikipedia page. And you'll see they have a whole ton of links going on here. And what you'll notice is all of these links are just links to inner pages or other pages on Wikipedia. They're linking to their own pages. But they do it in a very good way where they, if they have a page for a topic they mention, they link to it. And that's all they do. That, that's how they approach on page linking. For example, bodybuilding is the use of progressive resistance exercise. Well, huh. I already, they already have a page on progressive res resistance exercise. So if someone's wondering what that is, they would just click here. And they would go to the present. They, they would go to that page, pretty much, right? So let's go back. Um, if someone's wondering, you know, so if they mention Arnold Schwarzenegger, they're gonna instead of explaining who he is, they already have content on Arnold Schwarzenegger. They already have a page on him, so they just link to that page, and that's the way you want to do it. So if you want to find out about Arnold, you click on the Arnold link. Okay, and we can go back, right? Steve Reeves. I have no idea who he is. If I want to find out, guess what? They have a page on it, so they put a link to that page so I can click on it and I can go find out who he is. And that's the way that you properly do on-page linking. If you mention a topic that you have another page on, you just link over to that page, okay? You don't force it in there, you know, you don't do anything like that, but if you mention something where you have a page on it, just create a link and send them over to that page. So let's just do an example with our site here. So let's go back here. And I want to create another page to help make this example more clear. And I'm going to name this one Off Page SEO, right? So I'll cover all of my 
off-page SEO-related content here. Of course, I would have like a long article. You know, I'd mix in my H tags. I would change my my title and all that content. Blah 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 blah. Right. So this would be all, of course, my off-page SEO stuff. So let me go ahead and publish that. Right. So of course we didn't do the title change and all of that, and you pick our keywords. I'm not. That's not the point of this. The point is to show you how to properly link. All right. So we now have uh, off page, and here's our on page. And you can change this um, so it doesn't show up like that. So there's a way to do that with this theme, I'm sure. So I would have to figure it out. But here's our on page page. Maybe we'll do that after I'm done this, just so I can show you. Um, but anyways, here's our on page page. And here's our off page page. Right here. Again, remember for this one, we didn't optimize it very well. We didn't change our title. We didn't change our H1 tag. We didn't put in H2. You know, we didn't do any of that stuff. Um, but what I want to tell you is like, so let's go back to our on page, or yeah, we, we can do off page. So let's say we're just talking, we're talking, and we say, you know, by the way, when you're doing your on-page SEO, don't forget to, and you, know, and you just say, don't forget to do this. Well, this is a case where we mentioned on-page SEO, so we can link to that page if we want, okay? So I can go and I can copy this page URL, and I can link over to that page. Boom. All right, now we have a link over to our on-page SEO page. I can go ahead, I can update if I want. All right, update. Now, I'm not going to just mention on-page SEO so I can link over to it. I'm not going to force it. But again, if I mention on-page SEO, instead of explaining what on-page SEO is or going into something I already talked about on it, I just link over to that page. That way, if they want to learn more about on-page SEO, they click on on-page SEO, and it takes them to the on-page SEO page. Right? And that's how you properly do interlinking. And when you get bigger sites, it gets a little more... Um, uh, it gets a little more confusing, and I believe there's plugins to help with it. I'm not totally sure. Again, I haven't messed with interlinking, honestly, a ton. I've done it a little bit here and there, but probably not as much as I should, uh, but I've had never had problems ranking. So um, obviously it's not like a huge, huge ranking signal, but I'm sure it definitely can help you. All right, but I want to show you at least how to properly do it if you decide to do on-page linking. All it is, you, if you have a piece of content on something you mentioned, you link over to that content. You don't re-explain it, okay? You don't re-explain what it is because you already have an explanation on your site of what it is. They can simply click the link. They can find out more about that specific topic. Everyone wins, okay? And that's the way that I look at on, uh, on-page linking is that's the way it should be done. That's exactly what Wikipedia does. And you should follow what they do because they're probably the best at it and they rank for everything. So, um, you know, you can kind of look at their site more if you want. Any page you go to, there's tons of links on there where they just link out to all these different pages they have. Uh, they do such a good job with, with on page linking. So, you can kind of follow what they do if you like. But that's the way to do it. Don't force anything uh, and just keep it natural. All right. So, what I want to do now is actually see if we can change this menu title because that's bothering me. I want it to say on page SEO. Let's see if we can fix that. <clears throat> Let's go to menus. Let's see, maybe we can create a menu. You know what, we might have to go to that page to change it. Let's try maybe going to that page. And again, different with different themes, you change them different ways. But I want what I'm what I'm trying to change is I want this right here to just say on page off on page SEO, I'm sorry. I want to say on page SEO. I'm sure someone who's watching this who's any more advanced than me pro or uh, or even has a little of experience probably knows how to do this. Um, so if you're not interested in this, by the way, you can shut off this video. You can turn it off. Uh, but I'm going to try to figure it out really quick because I'm not going to cover anything else um, after I try to figure this out. Let me see. Well, 
another way that I could try to figure this out is what's this theme called? I'm just kind of showing you guys how to do research at this point. All right, so it's called A L L I U M. All right, so actually here you go right here. Maybe this will tell us. Um, no, it doesn't give us any directions. Right, here's a here's a, a general uh, article on it. And this is just something, never something I looked into. This particular theme, it would be worth figuring this out because I really like this theme. Let's see. Customize. I'm going to pause this and try to figure it out, so I'll be right back. All right, so I got it. Uh, it only took a few more minutes to figure out. I was actually in the right place the first time. I just had to create a new thing here. So all I did was I created a menu, and I you know, did create menu, and then I, let's actually delete it so I can show you the whole process in case you're interested in this. This is really the only thing that you would have to figure out with this theme, so I'm just gonna show you, because I'm sure some people like this. So I just created a new menu, and I named it main. So now if I reload, it should show the old thing, because I deleted that, yeah. So I just created a menu, I called it main, so create menu, all right, and then what I did was I choose both of these, the off page and the on page, and I add them to my menu. And then I choose the drop down here, and for the navigation, la the navigation label, I changed it to on page SEO and save. So now that just changes the text of the, the label, so it's not all long like that. Look, that was bothering me. Didn't change this time. I might have had to have click um, header menu. So let's save. Or was it top menu too? I don't know. Let's try that. There we go. That's the change. So, so that's how you control what shows up here. And so for example, if I didn't want something to show up here, um, I would just remove this. So if I don't want the on page to show up in just off page, I would save that. Okay, and I'm telling it I want it to show in my header menu. So now the on page is going to totally disappear. Just off page is going to be there. Okay, so that's how you control this this thing. Other than that, this theme's good to go. Okay, that's the only thing that you would really had to figure out, and I just showed you how to do it. Um, so just kind of a little bonus for you if you're if you're interested. Let's go ahead and add that on page SEO back to there. And I want to rename it again on page SEO. And I want to save it. And one other thing I just saw that I want to show you with this theme. All right, so we're back to on page SEO. Is how to add, remember I told you you could probably add like a, an image up here. So to do that, we would just go to customize. And then let's say you got like a, like a, a late or a brand, you know, logo created and all that, you would just go to header image and add new image. And we'll just add this SEO one. Let's pretend it's our um pretend that's our like our brand photo. Let's crop it right there. Crop image. Let's just see how this looks. Yeah, it looks that looks okay. I mean, there's a little background, but of course you would get it fitted the correct way and all that. Um, and it would look a lot better, but I just kind of did that quick for you. It didn't show up there. Do we need to save it or something? Oh, we need to publish. All right, so let's go check it out now. We should have a little background image up there. That's pretty cool. I, would, I of course, want to make it smaller, but that, that would help our site look better for sure, right? I like that. And, of course, we could actually add our logo in there. Um, 
So there's little types of things like that that you can do with, with these um, themes. You just kind of got to figure out those little things every once in a while. Uh, but the menu thing is kind of similar for a lot of them. That's how I knew, to, knew how to do that is I've done a little bit of changing with that before. So that's similar for most themes. And then that image is also similar for a lot of themes. So you can, you can get both of those by going to appearance and menus and then appearance and customize. And in customize, you can, you know, there's usually a place to like add images or change colors or, you know, background images and, you know, things like that. All right. But anyways, this video is supposed to be about uh, on-page linking. I went into a little bit about the um, the uh, the menu thing and the in the image. The menu thing kind of ties into on-page linking, so it does kind of fit this video. But a little bonus for you on how to kind of change menus and in a lot of themes, it kind of works the same way. So that's how you do it. Um, and then you know just other ways of customizing your your thing. But the main point of this was the on-page linking. Hopefully you understand that well now. Do it naturally. If you have a page already that you mentioned something for, link to that page so they can figure out more about it by going to that page if they like. You don't gotta re-explain it. Alright, so hope you all enjoyed this video. 